Hey guys! Ooh. See, we got Piper, we got Oya, and Bomba, and Shango, and Oshun, all right here. And they're all waiting for me to throw down some feed. But you see, I've been trying to get them to eat out of my hands for a while. And I haven't been able to get them to. And now Piper, who is more than tame enough to eat out of our hands, we handle him, he's getting bigger, he ain't eating out of our hands. So, it's time. Time to do what I didn't want to do, but gonna have to do. I like taming animals without starving them. However, if I hit a hurdle and I can't get them to start eating out of my hands, like my ducks do all the time, I will not have animals that will not eat out of my hands. So, I gotta fix this situation. So I gotta sit here with this seed every day, coming out a few times a day, until they come eat this seed. And they don't get to eat until they do. But, thankfully they will because just like everyone, your stomach eventually will win the day. You guys right here. Hopefully you got a good view. I'm not checking. And see if we can at least get Piper. Come on. You know I have it. Now it's possible they just look at me like I'm fucking crazy and just say no, which is most likely what's gonna happen on this round. Don't expect your first round of trying for them to come down. Now every day before I shake their seed, I always tap the seed, so you hear that jingle sound, and I... And so they know that typically when I'm banging the seed in this one, I'm putting the seed down. Even my ducks are starting to come around right now, paying attention. They're on the other side behind you. They're like, what? hey, you, you dropping some more food? Where, where? Pigeon's just not getting it. Yeah, it's not getting it. Come on. <laughs> come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. And I'm saying come on over and over again because I don't really care to tell them that it's feeding time. I want them to come to me. And so as this goes on, I want them coming to feed to be the call of coming. So when they're outside flying, I can just see, simply go, Come on, come on. Come on, come on. And they'll come down and they'll come back to me and I'll be able to put them in the aviary or have them laying on my shoulder or whatever we're working on. But you don't want to let your birds out of your aviary until you can command them because that's dangerous. Oh, hey, Oya. If, oh, Bomba, sorry. Hey, Bomba. They're white, sometimes it's hard to tell. But one thing neat about white birds is, or at least these pigeons, you know how the the dark pigeons, they got that beautiful rainbow that just reflects all around? Well, that rainbow actually isn't from, um, isn't from pigment in the, in the feather. That's actually light coming through hitting the feather like a prism and casting a rainbow. Pretty cool, that's how birds go holographic. Now, those white birds, if you hit them in the right sunlight, they glow like no tomorrow. They are just super holographic. But most of the time you see them, it's just pure white. That light has to be hitting them perfect and it shines, and it shines, it's just beautiful. 
it looks like, I don't know, some holographic angel feather or something. It's just amazing. You guys coming? Come on, come on. Come on, come on. See, I've been dropping the seed. And so now they're like, why isn't he dropping the seed? And they're all staring at me. I don't know if you guys can see him. But here. I don't know what kind of view you got. What do you got? What are you looking at? You may be able to see something. Anyways. They're all up there. I know you can see them now. See? They're all hanging out up there like, hey, when are you driving the food, buddy? And I'm over here like, hey, I'm not. Not until you come eat out of my hand. So, give it a little bit longer. Come on. Come on, come on. I'm, I'm actually assuming Piper's going to be first on this. But I wouldn't be surprised if uh, Bomba or Oya, because they're, they're previous... <laughs> owner handled them quite a bit. Um, so they actually don't mind as much, you know, you grabbing them and picking them up. But they still, I don't think she ever had them eaten out of her hands because they still aren't doing that. You gonna come here, Piper? Come here, Piper. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Come on. They're looking like they might want to. Come on. At some point, you just kind of have to give up and let them realize you ain't putting the food down. It won't take them long. They're smart. They'll figure it out. Can you come down, Piper? I'm the food holder. I'm holding the food. Yeah. You see, this is the food. If you want to fill your belly, you're going to have to come to me. That's how it's gonna be. We, we gotta get you guys ready. We're going to Florida, or most likely. Yeah, you gotta check out those videos, too. You'll see one in there, why Florida's not right for us. And the reason for that is, you gotta be careful of the county. And when it comes to living off grid, the most important thing you can do is make sure that you're in the right county. And don't just assume that all the building policies for the entire state are actually, like, uh, enforced throughout the entire state. Because what I came to realize, look at them, they're flying down here. What I came to realize is that um, a state requirements might suck, but there may be a county inside that state. That's just fine. Look how close they're getting. Yeah. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. They're getting curious. They're like, why, why aren't you fucking letting that out of your hand? I don't really want to come to your hand. Piper scene, huh? Oh, yeah, Piper. Yeah. You see how the, the black pigeons, though, they're next. You can see that reflection so easy. That's because they have that black contrast underneath the feather, so it really makes the light pop. Yes, Piper's trying to bake the food. He's like, Mom, Dad, give me some food. And like, I ain't got no fucking food. Come here, Piper. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Are you grabbing some seed? Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Come on. Is this going to work on the first try? Let's do this on the first try, guys. Let's show the YouTube world that we're fucking amazing. Yeah, show them we're amazing. Come on, come on, come on. 
Let me get you eating out of my hand on the first try. You're already on the ground. Come on. You know, what's funny is when I look at you guys and talk, they get closer to my hand because I'm looking away from it. They're not quite sure what's up with that camera thingy there, but they know that there's feet in my hand. And I think me not looking at the feet in my hand kind of helps. Come on, baby. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on, Piper. Come on, guys. Come on. Mm. We were so close. So close. Well, I think I'm going to have to teach them that they're going to have to do this. So, stay tuned for their, the next attempt.